Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our weekly investor update. I am Rachel Curlew, Assistant Vice President of Investment Banking, and I'll be your host today. I'm happy to say that we are joined this week by our Sales Assistant Manager, Asha Smelly. She'll be presenting on Main Event Entertainment Limited. We'll also be looking into Wigton Wind Farm Limited for today's discussion. If you're a fan of the content, then don't forget to hit the bell to stay up to date with the channel. We upload content like this every week. And if you're looking to embark on your first investment journey, you should take that first step with Mayberry. Follow us on social media to learn more about how you can get started today. So let's get started with Wigton Wind Farm Limited. Just to recap, Wigton owns and operates a 62 megawatt wind energy generation facility in Manchester. They actually own three wind energy plants and supply electricity solely to GPS. They listed on a market back in 2019, raising five and a half billion dollars. The stock currently trades at 53 cents with a relatively low PE of 10 times compared to their trailing EPS of 585 million. So let's take a look at what's happening here. For the first quarter of the year ended June 2022, the company reported sales of 794 million, a 25% increase on what they did for the la last year's quarter. They booked profits of 250 million, up 83% relative to last year's $136 million. Their balance sheet remains relatively strong with $11 billion in assets. Of this, cash and cash equivalents amounts to $3.8, almost $4 billion in cash. Looking at the quarterly graph on the next slide, the company has delivered strong Q1 results for, the, for this year relative to the last seven quarters despite the lower contractual rate being received in, the, in respect of their phase two operations, which came into effect last year. Looking at how the stock trades, the stock um, traded at, 70, at a high of 77 cents back in March and dipped um, to 49 cents in July of this year, but we're seeing a slight improvement where the stock now trades at 53 cents for the September period. Wigton disclosed about three weeks ago that the cabinet approved the generation license for another 20 years, commencing next year, April. This will enable the company to continue its generating capacity for phase one of its operations. Here, phase one represents about 20 megawatts or roughly a third of the business so with the company securing at least a third of its revenues for the next 20 years they should definitely boost market confidence they also noted they are seeking to reposition the company as a as an alternative energy company venturing into other forms of a green energy solution solar and other renewable energy forms. This ties in nicely to the Jamaican mandate to reach 30% renewable energy by 2023. The Prime Minister even announced he wants to get to 50% by that time period. We believe Wigton is well positioned to win some of these competitive bids. They are the oldest and largest renewable energy company in Jamaica. And as I mentioned before, they have four billion cash on its balance sheet. So we definitely believe they're they're in a great position to win some of these future contracts, securing more revenue for the business. So for us here at Mayberry, we believe Wigton's prospects for the medium to long term remain strong. What do you think, Asho? So I agree with you um, on that aspect, Rachel. But to add they are also aggressively looking to diversify their revenue so currently they only earn revenue from the, the production of solar energy or wind energy sorry but they recently announced the acquisition of flash motors yeah. so we look at them um, verging into the ev market um, it's something new to our country and if they can be a forerunner 
of that industry locally, then that can also uh, boost their profitability for years to come. I absolutely agree. Now, take it over with me in events, Asho. Thanks, Rachel. Uh, welcome back to the Investor Update. <laughs> Always you. good to see you. So now to Main Event Group Limited. Main Event has been operational for more than 15 years and they were listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange five years ago, 2017. The company offers services as an entertainment promoter, agent and manager providing full service offerings from event conception, marketing to execution. Main events results for the nine month period ended July 31st, 2022, highlighted the significant improvements in the company's profitability. The company recorded net profits of 103.9 million compared to 9 million earned the nine month period prior. Quarterly profit movements over the years highlights the effect of the no movement restrictions that were imposed on the company. 55% of main events revenues are derived from the entertainment promotion sector. So when looking at the indicator, we are looking for a return in normalcy as seen in Q2 2022 where the company recorded $20.8 million in revenue. For Q3 2022, the company recorded $123.7 million in revenue, which was rather historic for the company. Main event recorded $1.1 billion in revenue. This places the company on target to beat its 2019 full year performance. Main event is the main service provider in the entertainment space. However, their competition is quite strong. The company has expanded their services regionally and the territories that they have been able to service thus far includes Trinidad and Tobago, St. Lucia and Curacao to name a few. This indicates the level of demand which exists for the event execution business um, in our neighboring territories. Last May, the company announced a 50-50 partnership with SVL to form a new production company to capitalize on any market opportunities that may be present. Events that were paused due to the pandemic restrictions are now resuming and that should bode well for main events bottom line. Main event stock price movement details a year to date range between $3.97 to $9.99. The stock price traded up by 16.13% to close at $9 per share yesterday. One disadvantage of main event is the low trading volume, as 90% of the stock is whole or 90% of the available shares are held by the top three shareholders. So with the resurgence of events happening, the outlook for main event is quite promising. While the company has a strong brand rec recognition, um, strong and growing customer base, the company also has to look at its other revenue generating line items, namely M Academy and M Style Rental and Decor as those areas, along with the winning of contract for the event slated for the rest of the year leading into next year should be good indicators of how the company can perform throughout the rest of the year. So going back to the key statistics, we are seeing where the company's PE based on the price of $9 is trading at 24.34 times. That is higher than the junior market PE, however, as the company's earning potential continues to increase, we saw a record-breaking quarter in the July, and noting that there were a lot of events from August so far, uh, we expect that the company will end the year strong, um, surpassing what they made in 2019. So as the company's quarterly earning um, potential increases, we're expecting to see the PE ratio 
decreasing to be more in line with where the market is trading. So currently, uh, main event would be classified as a hold waiting on the perfect entry point to um, start adding that to your portfolio again. So Rachel, um, what are your thoughts as it relates to main event? I agree with the, um, the two points that you made. The outlook for main event is promising mm -hmm. as the company has a strong brand recognition and they're actively growing their customer base. The, in, the entertainment industry in Jamaica has definitely opened up mm -hmm. and we expect the events to continue leading up to the Christmas and the New Year's period. I'm sure Solomon and his team are already in planning mode to take advantage of these opportunities that are going to come up in the next quarter. I do agree that they need to expand their M-style rental and decor line. Mm -hmm. But um, let's sit tight and see how the, um, this plays out for the next quarter. That's it for today's discussion. I'd like to thank our viewers for tuning in today. Your support is always appreciated. I would also like to thank my fellow panelists, Asha Smelly, for contributing to today's discussion. If you're curious about our updates on our virtual investor forum, then find us on social media. We share our live stream dates and upcoming guests on our official social media pages. So follow us there for all things forum related. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Maber Investments Limited, and click the bell to receive all notifications. Keep safe and remember, wise investors, slow and steady wins the race. Thank you.